everyone. My name is Leonis Quinn. I am the founder and the executive director of Breed, the Anthony J. Chapman Asthma Foundation. We are an organization that deals primarily with asthma education. A couple of months ago, we started doing these videos concerning asthma and we talked about different subjects. The information that was shared, we hope it was helpful to you. And if you have enjoyed the video so far, subscribe to our page. We would really appreciate that. Today we'll be talking about COVID-19, asthma, and back to school. A short time ago, I attended a webinar that was sponsored by the American Lung Association. And I think they had some really good tips about how to keep our kids safe and what to do during these very challenging times. I decided to share some of those tips with you today. During the webinar, the asthma experts talked about the importance of continuing on with all your asthma medications as prescribed, particularly the inhaled corticosteroids, your preventive medications. As I mentioned, the inhaled corticosteroids or your controller medications are the medications that should be taken every single day. It is very important not to stop taking these medications for these are the one these are the ones that help us prevent us I should say from having an asthma attack whether you take your inhaler once a day or twice a day it all depends on which medication you have and your special asthma case they also mention our rescue inhalers the Ventolin the Pro Air these medications are used only when you're having a flare-up, such as coughing, wheezing, when you're short of breath. Michigan now has a law that states our kids that live in Michigan are able to keep their rescue inhalers with them at all times. I think it's a great law. I think it's good for our kids, for it kind of saves them time. And as we know, when you are having an asthma episode, time is of the essence. As we talk about our rescue inhaler and also our preventive and controller inhaler, we must mention the spacer or the valve chamber holder. This device allows us to take our medications in a proper manner and it also allows the medications to go deep down into the lungs. It may be a little bit bulky, but it sure does get the job done. As we continue to talk about devices that are helpful uh, for us when we are using our asthma medication, this device is called a peak flow meter. A peak flow meter allows us to gauge how our asthma is doing on a daily basis. A peak flow meter has three zones, a red zone, a yellow zone, and a green zone. The green zone stands for your asthma is doing great. The yellow zone means you need a little bit of help and get to the red zone, that means you need, you probably need to see your position. This device is also used with the asthma action plan. Those two go hand in hand. This is a very important subject. We as asthmatics need to know and understand what makes our asthma worse. What are our asthma triggers? September is considered to be the worst month of the year for asthmatics particularly the third week of September. This week is called the September peak week when the ragweed season starts, the flu season starts. It is very important for you to continue to take your asthma medications as prescribed for these are the ones when you come into contact with a trigger that you will be able to combat it with your medications. There are certainly other measures that we must take in order to keep our kids safe during this school year. As we know, the COVID-19 is spread through droplets, which means through coughing, sneezing, talking. Wearing your face mask is a way to help protect our kids from these symptoms. Also, good hand washing for 20 seconds. Hand sanitizer is a must also. Sometimes, although we're doing our very best, we know that our asthma still flares up. During these times, if your child is unfortunately stricken with the asthma episode, do not hesitate to take your child to the physician or to the emergency room where they can get help. I hope these measures have been 
helpful to you. I hope that you would adhere to some of them and hopefully we'll have a happy and successful school year. Thank you for joining us today. We hope the information that was shared is helpful to you in some kind of way. If you are in need of any of the devices that were shown today, the peak flow meter, the spacer, we have asthma diaries. If any of these things you are in need of, we do have them. I will send them to you at no charge, they're free. And at the end of this video, we will post our phone number and our website. You can get in touch with us um, that kind of way. So until next time, please stay safe and take care of yourself.